So last week we spoke about the massive changes that are coming to the real estate market as they apply to Irvine. But today we're going to be talking about those same changes as they apply to Newport Beach. Unfortunately, we are seeing those same issues going on here on the coast. Our demand is decreasing massively because of our rapidly increasing interest rates. And then on top of that, homes are starting to sit. Our active inventory has picked up because homes are either not priced properly or not sale and show ready in terms of their condition. So let's go through these incredibly important changes right now. If you are a buyer, you definitely need to be aware of this. And also sellers out there, it seems like the party's coming to an end. So if you want to take advantage of everything that was great over the past two years, you might want to start doing that right now. It's Andrew Parker, your real estate agent here in sunny Southern California, helping you with your real estate needs. If you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell around Orange County, feel free to give me a call. I would be happy to help out. Also, by the way, last I checked, we're at like 95 subscribers, which just brings a single tear to my eye because we are trying to get to 100 by the end of the year. We're so close to doing it. So if you haven't joined the crew yet, join it. Shame on you so far, but you can fix that problem right now. If you've got kids, make YouTube accounts for your kids. Have all of them subscribe too. That would be great too. We want everybody involved so that you can be up to date with all the crazy things going on in the real estate market and especially in a time like this because big changes are happening. Let's dive into them. Now, just as a recap, if you were not there for our video last week when we spoke about Irvine, recently we had a top real estate economist here in Orange County, Mr. Stephen Thomas, come into our meeting at Douglas Elliman to give us his insight on what's going on in the market. He's been tracking this thing for a very, very long time and is a very, very smart guy. It was great to hear some of the stuff that he said because some of the things that he mentioned we've already seen a little bit about. So he drove the nail home on some of the, some of the big issues and really what you need to take away from it. So I want to share some of that with you. So the first of which is that the demand usually is supposed to peak at the end of April and the end of May. But unfortunately this year, because of the rapidly rising interest rates, we might've seen an early peak happen. A lot of people aren't able to purchase the same amount of a home as they used to be able to because interest rates took a big hit on their purchasing power. So not everything is selling instantly anymore. And in fact, if we ran it against the three year running average of demand prior to COVID, so before the COVID era, we are down 23% from what that used to be. So that is not great around Orange County. On top of that, the de the demand in Orange County is starting to drop, obviously, and it's gonna continue to cool. So the inventory is gonna surge a bit higher because homes are taking longer to sell, and that means that our expected market time will eventually rise in the long term. So the most important thing that you can do right now in his mind is arrive at the asking price quickly so that you are not the overpriced home on the market because right now in his words the market will start or inventory will start to pick up based on the overpriced homes that are not selling you don't want to be that you want to price your prop your property properly so that you can get the amount of money you want in a fast amount of time all right let's start things off with the new listings that were brought to the market for newport beach in the month of april 2022 so we were down actually to 90 we fell from 121 back in march which is a 26% decrease month over month. Not good. Uh, we also are 23.1% down from what we saw in April of 2021. And then I did the math on the four-year running average. If we got rid of the year of 2020, our four-year average for the month of April is supposed to be 145. So being that we're down to 90, that's about a 40% decrease in what we would like to see for this month which is not great because we really want to be going into the spring and summer months with increased inventory so that we get more transactions running, more buyers have the ability to purchase homes. Unfortunately, we are not seeing that right now. Now, regarding our active inventory, we are starting to see this trend upward. And if you can imagine with new listings going down, yet active listings going up, that is showing that homes that are currently on the market are sitting. Some sellers might have their homes overpriced. The inventory might not be high enough quality for our buyers out there. And really, as we all know, interest rates have been rising so rapidly that our buyers have a lot less purchasing power. So this could be uh, exactly why this is going on. Now, we are still lower from what we saw in uh, our April of 2021, which was at 197. We are down 25% from that. But month over month, if we move up from March of 2022, just one month ago, we went up 25%. So a 25% increase in our active listings. Again, this is indicating that homes are sitting on the market since our new listings have gone down. Now, I do want to say that 
even though our active listings are going up, that's actually a good thing, right? We want to see that hump happen. And as you can tell from the past five years, every single year we have that usual cyclical nature of real estate where inventory picks up or even our active listings, uh, except for 2021, which was a crazy year. There was so much demand and so little inventory that literally it never had a hump at all. So we would like to see this continue. The bad thing is, though, that usually if we go back to our new listings, these humps are paired with a, a similar hump going on in the new listings category. But being that we dropped down from March and really haven't seen that typical amount of new inventory coming to the market in Newport Beach, the active listings hump so far is being built up not by new listings, but by current homes that are not selling. So that's not super great. Again, that's all because we have hit huge interest rates uh, increases. Relatively, interest rates are so low historically, but at the same time, the rapid increase took a big dive on our buyer's purchasing power, and that's going to make it a lot harder to purchase homes. Now, our pending sales, this is a representative of exactly what Stephen Thomas was talking about, how demand is slumping off in a, a very unfortunate time. This is where we'd like to see demand go up. Again, typical humps of the year. Demand is supposed to be picking up during the spring. And unfortunately, month over month, we saw a huge decrease. In fact, that decrease was 45% down from March. So in March, we were at 74. Now we are at 41. That is not good. We are also 65.5% less than what we saw in April of 2021. Again, April 2021 was a huge demand year. Um, overall, 2021 was. So it's hard to really compare that. So what I did was I got the running average um, of the past four years, excluding 2020, just because 2020 was also a very bizarre year. Um, and that amount was 92. That running average was 92 pending sales for the month of April, being that we are now at 41. That's a 56% decrease from what we should be seeing. So not good. Demand has slumped tremendously. Again, representative of what's going on with our purchasing power. Now, interestingly enough, when we talk about days on market, when we spoke about it for Irvine, we were expecting it to go up, right? Because homes are starting to sit. Newport Beach is different. We're actually at seven days on market right now for the median. And then if we go over to our average, we are at 13. That is a 71% decrease from what we saw in 2021. So we can see that homes are selling a lot faster right now in Newport Beach. And my interpretation of this is basically that the homes that are selling, the quality inventory that's coming onto the market is going by so fast that those are carrying the weight of what these average and median numbers are showing. So essentially any homes that are taking longer to sell are getting overshadowed by how quickly the good inventory, the well-priced homes are going off the market. And this is also a great indicator for our sellers out there who do have quality inventory. If you have a great home and you're willing to price it properly, you're also willing to invest in some staging or maybe some fix-ups here and there so that we can get it show ready, those homes will be selling a lot faster because you're going to be competing with some homes that either aren't doing that or are overpriced. So you want to be the best home on the block. You're going to be able to sell in this market in a really quick amount of time compared to some of the other cities that we're seeing. Now regarding our month supply of inventory, we are up to 1.9 month supply of inventory, almost two months. Remember that a balanced month supply of inventory is said to be around five to six months. Um, anything less than that's going to be a seller's market. Anything above that is going to be a buyer's market. In Newport Beach, we've been rocking a seller's market for a while now, just about two years. So it is good to see this push up a little bit. Now, I wouldn't get carried away, buyers. You're not going to be able to get everything that you want necessarily with each home. This doesn't mean that everything's swayed in your favor yet, but it is leaning that way a little bit more. So if we start to see this thing come up a bit more, then maybe you'll start to get that negotiating leverage that you used to have in 2019 and 2018. Um, but the reason why this thing is going up is because, again, our demand is lowering due to the purchasing power hit that we just took with all the interest rate increases that were super, super rapid. And then on top of that, our active inventory is also increasing. So this is going to make our month supply also increase. Our median price per square foot is now up to $1,130 per square foot. That's a 31.4% increase on the median. And then if we go over to our average, we are up to 1,367. And this is a 32.5% increase than what we saw in April of 2021. So price per square foot still rocking very high. We did see a big drop 
from February into March, but shot right back up to a nice $1,300 per square foot in Newport Beach. Now our sales to list price percentage is up to 100% on the median level. And if we go over to the average, we are at 100.8%. This means that homes on average in Newport Beach were selling for just 0.8% over the original price. This does show that homes are still getting into some bidding wars out there. Buyers are super eager to purchase your property and are willing to spend a lot. Being that this is an average, that obviously means that some of these homes were selling for much more than their original listing price. And that's the importance of listing your home very well to begin with. And finally, we get to the median sales price. We are at $2.9 million for Newport Beach. That is a, an 18.7% increase from what we saw in April 2021. And then if we pop over to the average, we are up to $3.6 million for the average sales price in Newport Beach. That is a 15.7% increase from what we saw in April of 2021. And this is kind of the same conclusion that we got to get to when uh, we spoke about it for Irvine of last week. When is enough enough? Right, you're able to sell your home on average for $3.6 million, yet we are seeing a huge hit on the purchasing power due to rapidly increasing interest rates. And then also we saw a big hit on the amount of demand that is in the city. As you can see, if we pop back over there, a massive, massive drop that was 45% down month over month and also 56% down an average April for the past four years. So it's kind of the call you got to make, right? Like sure things could continue to go up, but at the same time, if you have fewer people that are able to purchase the home, now you're going to be running into different negotiations where the buyer might actually have a lot more leverage than they used to. So if you have a home in Newport beach and you're interested in selling, I'd say that now is a great time to take advantage of it. Additionally, like we talked about with Irvine, our in inventory is picking up a bit with the active listings. Some of those homes that are not selling are going to have to come to reality and lower their prices or make their homes more appealing to buyers out there. And that could help you as a seller because, again, the issue has not been over the past two years, can I sell my home? It's been, where do I go to next? So luckily, more options are coming available um, and will hopefully be priced better by agents as well as the sellers. So hopefully we see that for you, but this would be a really good time to take advantage of these prices, the speed of the market, and get into a new home quickly. That's been Market Monday. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a ton. Also, be sure to follow Andrew Parker Realty on all social media for more property tours, market updates, and real estate tips. And finally, if you have any questions or comments of your own, be sure to leave them in the comment section below or shoot me a DM. I would be happy to respond or make a video answering the questions that you guys have. All right, I'll see you in the next one.